Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Kwan again, the industrious investor, uh, here for another day of investment education. Now, today, guys, I want to talk about a couple of things. Um, one, I want to address the whole um, debt issue that I spoke about yesterday, using debt to grow your wealth and accumulate wealth. Um, we just had a couple of comments come through um, of people just wanting to understand that a little bit better. There was one guy that sort of had a bit of a, a bleak outlook on debt, um, basically saying, hey, get into heaps of debt, um, you know, have a horrible life and then die sort of thing. So um, I want to just clear, clear that up a little bit. So first, guys, it's not about getting into debt so that, um, you know, you just go broke, Okay, there's, it's debt with a purpose. So I did explain that there's two types of debt. One is the type of debt that will send you broke. It'll keep you enslaved. It'll keep you chained to your desk. It'll keep you working forever and a day. And then there's another type of debt where you're able to use that debt to buy assets that over time growing value. So that's good debt and that's the debt that I was advocating yesterday. So if you don't understand what that is um, and what I'm talking about, you know, send me a personal message or flick me an email. You can always call me directly as well if you wanna have a quick chat. But really there is a massive difference guys between good debt and bad debt. Okay, I would be happy to go into millions of dollars of good debt um, tomorrow. I would sign the paperwork right here, right now, um, because I know how it works. I know the wealth that it's created for me, um, and I know, um, you know, what a blessing it is to be able to leverage that debt. Okay, at the end of the day, it's just very simple maths, guys. Um, debt from your home costs you four percent per annum. Okay. If you take debt that is costing you 4% per annum and you go and invest it into something that is giving you more than 4% per annum, then you get to keep the difference. And that's all um, it is. It's very, very simple. And if you work out the return on investment on a normal average um, run-of-the-mill property um, investment, the return on investment is somewhere between 20 to 30%. Okay, so the cash on cash return on the actual investment, on the cash that you're investing into property, works out to be about 20 to 30%. So obviously, you know, if you're borrowing at 4%, you can afford to put it into investments that will give you a lot more than that. So that's it for the whole debt issue. Um, I hope I've clarified that for everybody. But um, what I want to talk about today, guys, is high-risk strategies, okay? Um, I think everybody should take maybe 5%, or if you're feeling a little bit, um, you know, a little bit lucky or adventurous, maybe 10% of your entire investment base, and maybe put 5 or 10% of that into a high-risk strategy. Okay, so let's say you had $100,000 to invest. Okay, I don't mind if people take five or you know $10,000 of that and put it into Bitcoin or Ethereum or a startup tech company or what have you. Um, my only advice on that would be if you invest into high risk strategies, as soon as you invest into it, pretend you've already lost it. Okay, um, don't expect to get a, a, a massive return from it, okay? If it happens, it's fantastic. If it doesn't, well, make sure that, you know, it doesn't sink your boat, okay? So we always talk about, you know, will this investment, um, if it goes pear-shaped, will it rock your boat or will it sink your boat? Um, you know, if it's going to sink your boat, don't do it, okay? Not into a high-risk strategy. Um, and the reason why I wanted to talk about high risk strategy is because I do a fair bit of it. Um, through my investment um, career, you could say, as I've invested and I've made money um, and as I, I have put more money into um, other investments, I've been able to make money from some of my investments. And so that's the money that I take to then put it into riskier strategies. Um, and the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because one of the tech startups that I invested into about two years ago um, got featured 
on the Fin Review um, today. So page 21, uh, Fin Review, the company is called Houseeru, um, and they've built this amazing platform which is like Webjet for the property industry. Um, and I really, I've backed this. Um, you know, I've put $55,000 into backing this company. Um, and it's now starting to show some fruit. So I'm really, really happy about uh, myself today. I'm happy that I've backed the right company and it's now gaining traction. Um, you know, they're doing deals with some big companies like Domain and, and uh, DocuSign and RP Data. So all really, really exciting stuff. Um, obviously, some, you know, some startups and some early stage investing for me hasn't gone well. Um, but this one is looking like it's about to take off. Um, and when it does, these, you know, riskier strategies like Bitcoin, like early stage startups, um, they can give you 10, 20, uh, 30 fold returns. So um, even putting a little bit of your investment capital into them um, can, you know, if it does work, it can make you very, very wealthy very, very quickly. And it can really catapult your, your goals and your wealth creation, um, you know, your wealth creation goals that you've set for yourself. So, um, you know, high risk strategies, obviously don't put a lot of money into them, but I'm a big believer in them. I've got a pretty big um, high risk profile um, and I've grown that over the years, but um, today's a good day for me and a lot of my investors actually as well that listened to me um, two years ago about this tech company um, they're now having a great day today as well so still a fair bit to go but it looks like we're pretty close to the finish line and I'm um, really really happy about myself but again guys I just want to encourage you high risk strategies have their place you know don't um, don't write them off but it's it's something that you only do with you know, a very small percentage of your investment base, okay? Um, fundamental stuff should be, you know, your foundation, so property and um, shares, and then there's obviously room for high risk. So um, if you want to know basically the high risk stuff that I invest in, um, comment down below, guys. I'm happy to share with you some of the other companies that I've invested in early. Um, that I also consider high risk. Um, one of them got, you know, featured on Channel 10. So, you know, it, they do work. Um, you just got to know how to pick them. Um, but yeah, until next time, guys, comment below. Um, tell me about your high risk strategy. Um, always happy to chat through. We comment um, and we look at all, all the comments. Uh, we reply to everything as well. So join us next time. Thanks and bye.